Hello, welcome to this calc tutorial. We're going to solve a normal distribution problem for the IB standard. Okay? In this one, you have a random variable x which is normally distributed with a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 4. That's very important to have the mean and the standard deviation if you want to do it with the calculator. This is obviously a paper 2 question. On the following diagram, shade the region corresponding to the probability of x being smaller than or equal to 25. So, mean is 20, and remember that the, that the normal distribution is symmetrical about the mean, so here would be 20, okay? And the, this is going to be smaller than or equal to 25, so 25 should be around here, so 25 is going to be around here, and we have to shade the region being smaller than this, so smaller than this would be this way, okay? Okay, that's easy. Now go to the calculator part, okay? It says now write down the probability of x being smaller than or equal to 25. Okay, how can we do this in the calculator? Let's take our calculator and go to menu number 2 for statistics. You're going to notice this little button, dist, and let's press it. And here we have some distributions. This is the normal one, normal distribution. So what about these three buttons? The normal particular distribution, you are never going to use it for a distribution which is continuous, like the normal one, because there is not the, the probability of being exactly 25 is zero. So you are always going to work with a cumulative one. So we're going to work with this normal cumulative distribution button. Look that we want the probability of this to be smaller than or equal to 25. So smaller than smaller than 25 can be anything smaller than 25. Let's say minus infinity would be the lower bound. So instead of writing minus infinity, which we cannot write in the calculator, we're going to put a negative number, but a very huge negative number. Let's write a little bit of figures here. Okay, like a very negative number, a very small number, very negative one. Be careful to write it with a minus sign at the beginning, okay? This is going to be like minus infinity for us. Then our upper bound, as we want it to be smaller than or equal to 25, our upper bound is 25. 25 is the upper bound. Now the sigma, which is the standard deviation, is 4. So we're going to write 4. And the mean is 20, so we put 20. We just press the execute button two times, and we have the probability of being smaller than or equal to 25 is 0 0.89435. Remember to write it down with three significant figures, like 0 0.894. Okay? Now look at the difference with this question that it says let the probability of x being smaller or equal to c number c equal 0 0.7 write down the number of the write down the value of c so now we have the probability and we are asked which is this number which is the upper bound as we want x to be smaller than this is the upper bound of our of our probability so let's see it a little bit in the example imagine that we have z here we want it to be smaller than C, so we want the area that is below this curve and this space. We want this area, okay? So we're going to go to the calculator, again to the menu for, for statistics. We're going to go to distributions, normal distribution again, because we're still in a normal distribution, but instead of using the cumulative one, as in, the, as in the question B, now we're going to use the inverse, because we have the area and we want the number in between the brackets. So, the inverse, look at the, at the first information that we have to put is the tail, tail left, because the probability that we want is smaller than C, and this is to the left, so the tail is left. If we want the probability to be bigger than C, that is going to be here, the tail will be right, and we can, we can change that with this little button here, you see, okay? So in this case it's left, as the probability that we want is left side of C. Now the area under the curve, the area under the curve is going to be 0 0.7. Be careful that in some questions you are going to be asked like, okay, the probability is 70% or 30% or 1%. So write it like a number with decimals like 0 0.30 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.7. In this case, as this is 70%, would be 0 0.7, the area. Obviously, we are in the same exercise, so the standard deviation continues to be 4 and the, and the mean continues to be 20, okay? So we just press the execute button and we have 22.0976 is C. Obviously, with three significant figures, C would be 22.1, okay? Now, done with this.